Good evening, McAllen, and welcome to our show. We want to welcome back two of our student ambassadors to help us out this week, Patricia Rocha and Idania Galvan. So let's get started. We begin with a student at Escandon Elementary. Fourth grader Justin Maya inspired teachers for the district in 2016 with a speech about wanting to grow up to become a neurosurgeon. The mayor featured Justin in the State of the City events in February. That, in turn, inspired a visit from the UTRGV Dean of School of Medicine. Here's what happened. Justin has received a lot of attention because a couple years back he gave a tremendous speech at, I believe, the 2016 uh, MIC General Assembly where he gave a motivation headed. speech to our teachers. I want to be a brain surgeon when I grow up. And I wanted to be one since I was in kindergarten. I believe he got the attention of Dr. Kraus, the Dean of Medicine from UTRGV. So Dr. Kraus, I know, contacted the district, who then contacted us, and um, he was so inspired with Justin's speech that they wanted to present him with a white coat. When medical students come to medical school, one of the first things we do with them is we give them white coats. He said it took about like eight years. And that's very challenging, even though those eight years go in a blink of an eye. I think it's already sealed for me. I'm just going to become a neurosurgeon, no matter what it takes. Justin isn't the only dedicated fourth grader in McAllen ISD. More than 400 fourth graders perform at the annual choral festival at the beautiful McAllen Performing Arts Center. Let's take a look. To see more on Justin Maya or the Choral Festival, subscribe to McAllen ISD's YouTube page or check out the videos on McAllen ISD's Facebook page. We love our teachers. In fact, with Teacher Appreciation Week just a month away, the campuses have been selecting one educator to represent their campuses as Teacher of the Year. MITV has recorded short videos on each of them. Here's a look at one. Well, I believe that Learning needs to be fun for the kids in order for them to be engaged. So I feel as long as I provide that for them, they will be loving their learning process through everything. I would actually like to thank my, my dad. He passed away um, back in 2007, but I was his only girl. So his biggest dream for me was to just become as successful as I could be. And he just told me, I will be happy as long as you uh, reach your dream. So my dream was to be a teacher. So I know uh, he didn't get to see me now, but I know that he would be very proud of me if he was here. To see more Teachers of the Year videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out videos on my KNIZ Facebook page. We will be right back for sports with Mark May right after this. One day, I will be Dr. Maya, a neurosurgeon. Someone will need me, and I will help them. You will be a part of it, because you believed in me. My kindergarten teacher told me I could change the world. I believe I can, too. Last week, the Lady Mustangs, Warriors, and Bulldogs pulled off victories in the first round of the state playoffs for girls' soccer. Memorial defeated South San Antonio 2-1, while Rowe edged San Antonio Southwest also 2-1, both of those games going to penalty kicks. Meanwhile, the Mackay girls trounced Laredo United South 9-1. And we have highlights and reaction from that game. Again, no one there defending, moves right in and scores. She has a shooter to the right, elects to shoot, and scores. Here's a chance now. This is centered. 
two players there. That looks like Henderson save made by Alita. Follow-up attempt goes in for the goal. I think we have a really good chance. I think we play really, really well as a team. And once we start get ourselves going, there's really no stopping us. So I think we have a really good chance of going far. And now here's a short message from our superintendent, Dr. Gonzalez. Welcome back, everyone. I hope all of you had a wonderful Easter break with your friends and family. We know that testing season is right around the corner. We start with STAR exams next week and uh, testing continues through May. So I do wanna wish everybody the best of luck as we get closer to the assessments. Also wanna thank all of our teachers and students for all the hard work you've put in up to this point in the game. Our benchmark results have been coming in very strong. So we feel very comfortable with regard to how we're going to perform. And as you know, our performance last year on the state assessment put us in a position to earn the post-secondary readiness distinction. And we're very proud of that distinction. So. As we move into this testing season, please give your best effort. Students and teachers know that uh, we're very proud of the effort you've put in. And to everyone out there that's uh, made a difference for children, all the principals, assistant principals, counselors, all the support staff, thank you all so much. And uh, once again, best of luck as we get closer to our state assessments. Let's see what's happening on Twitter. The McCown Memorial Student Council were blue for Autism Awareness Day. How about the Mack High baseball team? They are ranked third in the entire state of Texas by the Texas High School Baseball Coaches Association. Road Theater students are gearing up for the traveling show called Aladdin and His Wonderful Lamp. Fifth graders at Milam Elementary recently learned about 3D design and used a 3D printer. And students at Wilson Elementary have been doing great on their accelerated reader tests. Be sure to look for other McAllen ISD videos on the district's YouTube page and under videos on the district's Facebook page. Well, that'll do it for this show. I want to thank our student ambassadors for co-hosting our program, Patricia Rocha and Idania Galvan. See you next time. Bye.